In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the toy bobcat. The toy bobcat is often referred to as one of the smallest of all cat breeds, no bigger than a 3-6 month old kitten of a normally developed domestic cat, with a short strong, and muscular body, short bob tail consisting of several kink vertebras. It is worth mentioning that the breed is not a miniaturized version of an established breed of cat. The toy bob is a naturally small bob-tailed cat that originated in Russia and existing there for over three decades. The toy bob can be found in all colors and have either a short or semi-long coat. The toy bob short hair is more common at this time as not all professional cat associations have yet approved the toy bob long hair. 1. Toy bob cat's history. The toy bob cat was first documented in the Rostov region of Russia in 1983 when Ms. Elena Kraya Senichenko adopted a stray seal point cat from outside her home. By her accounts, this cat looked very much like a traditional Siamese cat, except for its kink shortened tail. It later bred to another bobtailed seal point domestic shorthair female, and in 1988, the breeding of these two cats produced an unusually small bobtail kitten, named Kussy, which became one of the foundation cats for the breed Kraya Senichenko called Skeef Tydon. By the late 1990s, the toy bob became scarce, and a breeder from the Ural region of Russia, Alexis Abramchuk of Sea Shop at Kateri had begun to broaden the breed's limited gene pool by adding domestic cats. When Sea Shop had discontinued their toy bob breeding program, local Ural breeder, Natalia Fedyayeva of Little Angel Kateri, acquired from Abramchuk, a small male Gavrila, elsewhere, two females, all three from the Skeef Tai Don line and began her restoration of the breed. Fedyayeva had observed that cats of very similar phenotype to the toy bob were spotted living locally around barns and streets in that region. Some of these native cats were also of small size with kink tails or kink bob tails but seen in colors and patterns other than seal point. Fediaeva, along with other local breeders, continued to expand the toy bob cat's initially small genetic pool by adding those found domestic cats as well as other similarly phenotyped breeds. Fediaeva began to refer to her cats as scythe toy bob to differentiate them from the skeef tied don and exhibited them in the World Cat Federation in their unrecognized breed category. In the past 30 years of the breed's development, the toy bob has gone through much rope untangling to get it under one general breed name finally. The breed has been known under several different names and is a significant component of its history. It was in 1994 when the toy bob breed name was suggested by Russian feline book author and WCF Judge Drive, Olga Miranova to be given to all the cats in development. The breed expanded internationally when in 2004, toy bobs were imported to the United States by a Burmese cat breeder, and four years later the toy bob entered experimental status within the International Cat Association. In 2014, the majority of Tika registered toy bob breeders under the direction of Dr. Anna Gramova, DVM began to work in close cooperation, focusing on advancing the breed's recognition. A year later the International Toy Bob Cat Club was formed, with a dedication to promote the breed worldwide, mentor new breeders and unify the toy bob standards across all cat fancy associations. Due to the ITCC's efforts, the cat is now advanced within Tika and it is quickly gaining popularity across the world. Today, the toy bob has achieved full championship status in its native Russia, WCF, Cat Fanciers Federation, and the American Cat Fanciers Association. The toy bob, as well became the Cat Fanciers Association's 45th recognized breed when it was registered in their miscellaneous class. Currently, the toy bob is quickly expanding worldwide, and there are toy bob breeding programs all over its native Russia, throughout the United States, throughout Europe, Israel, and Japan. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 2. Toy Bob Cat's Genetic Background the toy bob cat's most unusual feature is its kinked bob tail, and just like other known kinked bob tail breeds, the tail does not affect its agility or health. At the time the breed was registered with Tika, little to no genetic research had been done on the breed to learn more about the unique genes behind the toy bob cat's anomalous small size and bob tail appearance. Leading to much speculation as to it having possible relations to other known bob tail breeds. In 2016, the ITCC under the new direction of current president, Mrs. Margot Hill decided to perform preliminary testing with the geneticist and renowned feline expert Dr. Leslie A. Lyons to find any connection to other bobtail breeds, results demonstrating the toy bob has its own tail mutation unrelated to any bobtail breed like Japanese bobtail, Karelian bobtail nor Manx. 3. Toy Bob Cat's Personality Feline traits notwithstanding, 
The Toy Bob has all of the qualities one looks for in a companion cat. Toy Bobs thrive when they are with their people. The Toy Bob is best described as the small cat with a big loving heart. The Toy Bob is intelligent, good-natured, affectionate, and social, making it easily get along with other friendly animals. They will be content to quietly follow you around and then sit in your lap for petting whenever you give it a chance. In general, the Toy Bob is a happy cat who gets along with everyone and is a playful, cuddly companion. Toy Bobs are very loving and devoted to their family, but they can have a natural shyness around new people. It's not unusual for them to be a little shy with strangers for the first few minutes until they warm up to them. The Toy Bob's smaller size and gentle demeanor make them also great company for children, although supervised playtime is recommended for homes with very young children who might accidentally injure them. Toy Bobs are also seen to have very protective personalities, applying it either to their human family members or other pets at home. They often rush into split-up fights or if someone needs help. Overall loving, charming, and playful, the Toy Bob can be quite addictive. People who love the cat can't imagine life without one, and many can't imagine life without two or three. Their diminutive size makes a Toy Bob great in an apartment setting. Toy Bobs long for companionship, so it is not recommended to have only one if left home alone for extended periods. 4. Toy Bob Cat's Health and Care Toy Bob overall health is rather robust due to the harsh environment from where the breed originated. Also, the continued use of native Russian domestic cats in the breed development maintains excellent genetic diversity and good health. The breed has no known health or genetic problems and is known to be long-lived even past 15 years. Although a petite cat, the Toy Bob might surprise some as it carries a nice sturdy weight to it for its overall small body. The short coat of the Toy Bob short hair is plush but easy to care for, brush it once or twice a week to maintain its coat beautiful. Toy Bob long hair has a semi-long coat, and does not mat or tangle and is easy to groom. As with the short hair, comb its coat once or twice a week to keep it in optimal condition. Both varieties are low shed, but the coat does change seasonally. Caring for a Toy Bob is relatively easy. The Toy Bob does not require any special diet, and as with most cat breeds, high-quality cat food is essential for a happy and healthy cat. The coat of the short hair version is plush but simple to care for by brushing it once or twice a week. The long hair version of the Toy Bob has a semi-long coat that does not mat or tangle and it is easy to groom. As with the short hair, combing once or twice a week will keep a Toy Bob in optimal condition. Both varieties are low shed, but the coat does change seasonally. Toy Bob kittens are normally ready for their new homes at around 12 to 16 weeks of age. It is important to choose a breeder who is careful to socialize their kittens as infants and throughout their developing first months in order to ensure a well-adjusted kitten and adult. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.